Okay, so I'm in uh, outside the bear, <laughs> which isn't there anymore. It's called the Flaming Grill. This is where I used to live. This is crazy. So I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna go down to the woods. And uh, I used to hang out down the woods when I was about 15, 16, 17 years old before I left to go to Somerset. So all this is memories at the moment. And it's, it, it's like a dream because I haven't been here for years, years and years. So yeah, I was born in Reading in Berkshire, the Royal Berkshire Hospital. And um, then I've been in Reading and Tylerst for uh, since I was very little, well, I was a baby, till I was about uh, 17, 18. And uh, I moved here when I was about 17 or 18, so I haven't been here since. So <laughs> there's a lot of memories going on. This is going to be like a whole reality check for me today because I'm going to travel to my old school and where the old school was, was where I had a base in the woods. No one knew about it for about a year. Only a small, a very small amount of people. And then people found it. So we had this 20, like 20, we had about a 12, 13 foot high fence we built out of fallen trees. They're really thin trees. They might be about four or five inches wide. But um, I've got lots of rope, tied them up. And it was this 40 foot radius around. It was huge. I used to spend days and weeks down there. Well, it's when I left school, so I didn't really have a job straight away. <laughs> I was literally so happy. Um, you know, going going down the woods and enjoying uh, just, just nature, really. So it's, it's very, very interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to go down the woods. Experience what's happening. Just make sure that my microphone's working because I've got a new microphone on, on the GoPro. And there we go. So, now I'm at the bird state now. The very first memories of coming down here. There's a massive hill. It's not that big. It was a big hill. And uh, I don't even I know where I'm going, which is great. Because many times before in the past, uh, well, being in London and stuff, I don't know where the hell I'm going. <laughs> but this is all memories coming back. So, yeah, I used to go to Little Heath School. Um, I'm passing people's houses, which... I remember people, friends who live in those houses, and I haven't been here for like 15, year, not 15 years, probably about 13 years now. Last time I came down these roads was 13 years ago. So this is like a memory down, down memory lane. <laughs> and uh, I, I love Reading, it's uh, because it's got memories. I know where things are, I know where to chill out, hide away. Um, don't have our home here anymore, but my brother lives just around the corner for where we used to live. So yeah, I'm at the Birds Estate at the moment, and it's just a the reason why it's called the Birds Estate is because there's there's roads like Swallow Close, um, Chaffinch Place. I, think. I can't remember all the names, but it's a whole estate of houses which you can see around me at the moment, and they all have bird names, not the houses, the roads. So sort of a slang word for the bird's estate. So I remember this. And there used to be a call. I think a few teenagers or some of you was a bit older than me at the time. We used to have a typical whistle and it used to go like this. I don't remember it. That's all I remember. I don't know who used to do it, but they used to do that whistle. Maybe it was a lady called a cat. <laughs> I don't really know at all. So yeah, I'm walking down the Birds Estate. I'm going to head towards Little Heath School. That's the school I used to go to. I'm not going to school, obviously. But behind there is, is some woods, um, some forest. They go on for a fair ages. I think, if you remember the name, it's Southern Woods. It's not Southern Woods, it's another part of the woods, which is all connected. See? Curlew Drive. Now, Curlew is a bird. <laughs> I remember birds quite well. So, uh, yeah, it's just a memory here. Um, I'm also getting to know my GoPro at the moment because I haven't used it much for the last few years. So here I am. I'm in, I'm in Reading in Tyler's near Southern Woods. Now this spot here is an interesting spot. This is one of the very first um, 
premonition experiences I've ever had. I can't remember where it was. I think it was around here. I was with my friend Chris, and um, so yeah, I was walking with my friend Chris. We we're walking this way on the road, and it was about here. For some reason, we we're sat on the pavement on on, on the pathway, the walkway, and for. Some Reason, I grabbed Chris, was sat down, I got up, grabbed Chris and pulled over. He said, what are you doing to me? And I pulled him and then there was a van coming and it almost, it just got up on the curb really, really fast. It could have crushed us, it could, we could have got run over. I have no idea, I just followed my intuition, it was a very, very strong feeling. Grabbed his arm and pulled him and then this van came up on the curb. Uh, we could have got run over. So that was very interesting. So... Here we go, I'm in a... Uh, behind me is uh, Little Heath School. This is my old school. Um, it looks very different. I think they've added a different building or added another building onto it. Um, yeah, very interesting. I I'm comfortable here because I guess I spent many years here. Like, it, it's home to me. I feel uh, there's a sense of freedom and... and and goodness from this area. There's nothing mystical about this land, it's just memories to me, you know, because it's like I know all these little avenues. Just gone past a few people's old old friend houses. I don't know if they still live there. I haven't really got time to knock and to talk to everybody. I need like a week to be here because there's a lot of people I remember. I don't remember everyone's names either. You know, I had a lot of friends when I was younger. Um well when I was much younger I had no friends at all. But it wasn't until I left school, I made loads and loads of friends. So, after school, every time, I didn't go straight home. I went down the woods, lit, lit a fire when it was dark, and I stayed there. I came back home very, very late. Um, when I finished school, which was very interesting, I went down to the woods. I can't remember what time of the year it was, but I burnt all my clothes, burnt all my books, and I was like, free, free from school, this attachment. I felt like I was in jail. Okay, so this is the pathway here, um, which goes down the woods. And, um, you know, everyone knows it's here, the woods, but they don't know the part where I used to go. So I'm gonna take you there now, which is very interesting. I do miss it, so I'm just gonna turn. The... This is what I call home to me. You know, my home was my bedroom with my parents, but down here is is my home. This is where I see home, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, to me, it's very beautiful. Just nature, lots of memories. This always used to get quite boggy, so all this mud. So I can go around it. Right, still the same gate as well. This is crazy. They haven't changed this gate in like at least 15 years. I miss it here. I don't think it's public land. There's a growth on a tree there. This would be like chugger, but I don't think it is. It looks like just a growth. Though it is a silver birch, so let me have a look. It could be some chugger. Chugger mushroom. There's a lot. Quite a lot of fungi around here. It looks like a silver birch. It is a silver birch. No. Is it? I'm gonna get a long stick and see if that is a. Uh, okay, don't get fooled by chaga mushroom. Make sure I got my phone in my pocket. Don't want that falling out. You know, I never had technology here. I never used to have a phone. So, oh. wow, look at this. <laughs> this is cool. That's a deer. Now I see a deer. I see a deer. There is a deer over there. See the deer? Beautiful. See, see the deer. Beautiful. 
Oh. Oh, it's so green around here, it's beautiful. There's moss everywhere. You can still see the deer. <laughs> I must have picked up on that coming down. That's quite cool. So these are deer trails. I'm not sure if you can notice, but these here are deer trails. You can tell by the some of the footings there. That's all the deer trails. This land, these woods, I, I miss it so much. This is beautiful. You know, I was concerned coming down here if I was ever to find um, that they had built. See, there's the deer again. It's looking at me. I can't see. It's uh, a bit far away. There we go. It's in in the in the distance there, hiding by the hind the trees. I don't want to scare it off. I'm here to come back and to see my old base. I'm gonna stick to the path because that leads right past it. Go this way actually. Look at that. <laughs> Come back into my bushcraft years when I'm looking for uh, for droppings. I saw some uh, deer droppings. Um, there's a lot of things you can find here. I've found all sorts of things in the past because people run through the dark, the night. I found uh, some money once, not much, like 20 pounds in the, in the woods. So I went all the way out to the shop and bought lots and lots of sweets. So. Oh, I don't know what it is about these woods. It's maybe because it's memories, but to me, it's it's just nice. It's a shame it's not for sale. Okay, so uh, we're at a checkpoint now. This is a big tree. It used to look a lot bigger to me, but I haven't I haven't grown any taller. But the tree above me was a place where three of my friends, they were climbed to the top, it's flat up there. I can still see some rope. Um, you know, the, you know, no one's been here for years, you can tell. There's probably still an old car battery up there, I hope not, because of a poor tree. But um, I've never been up there, because um, I'm a bit scared of heights. Because, why? Because they were climbing this tree or this tree, and then you got this big drop. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is uh, exploring my childhood. So, anyway, I'm gonna go and find the base now. It's definitely up that way. Uh, you know, things have changed a little bit. They're, like the terrain is very much is still the same, but there's some fall down trees I don't recognize because, you know, I haven't been here about 15 years. But um, there's two bases. The first base was just up here closed bit of trees. And the last time I was here, about 12, 13 years ago, before I left to go to Somerset, the day before I left, I came down here to say goodbye and I said I'll come back one day to, to see it all. And I didn't realise it would be this long. I had visions of coming down here with my children. I don't have any yet. Um, yeah. So through here, this is the first base. We haven't reached it yet, but uh, yeah, very good. Why? The battery never seems to last very long on this. It was a fox. So. Oh, not there yet. Oh. It's like trekking through the mountains. <laughs> I'm glad I brought a little bit of food with me. Got a little bit of water. Not too much. Oh my god, i have changed. Let's see. Because. 
I don't recognize any of this. Crunch, crunch. Let's have a look. How oh, do I recognize? Don't recognize this. See, everything's overgrown and changed. Ow. A lot of brambles. That's why I wear ministry boots. Oh. Yeah, see, I don't recognise this now. It's all changed. But, um, a lot of trees are missing because it's a lot more darker here. Is that See, I don't remember it. I don't remember any of this now. You know, like, why did I come down here? To look for my uh, childhood? <laughs> no. I just came down here to explore. Have a walk in the woods. Get some nature. Okay, so. That's. Oh. I reckon it's here. See these are new footpaths. These ne these footpaths were never here before. So I reckon it's down there. I reckon it's here. There's no canopy of trees anymore. There used to be some really uh, dark pieces dark spots of the wood and it's not here this is the extra sort of trails and uh, I'm guessing my tree has been cut down the one I put my name on It doesn't matter anyway. It would have been cool to try and find it. So. Yeah, more trees. See, I think I've gone too far now. Anyway, I'm lucky I know the terrain. I know where I am. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my tree. I've still got old pictures and memories in my, in my head. Crazy. It's a bit chilly today because I've been walking for a while. It's uh, oh, getting a bit hot and sweaty. I'll give it one more go. And if I don't find it, then walking back. Walking back and saying goodbye. Okay, no luck. Couldn't find it. I've noticed that there's been a lot of trees. Down. There's been no new growth. When I came here last, like 12 years ago, they had marked a lot of trees and they started cutting a lot down. So all the dense, dark parts of the wood, my memories, they've gone now. So now it just that doesn't mean that don't stop exploring your childhood and going back and see memories. See, the memories were in the past, they're not in the future. But um, you know, if, if you want to go and explore, do it, but just remember, don't have any expectations because you remember it exactly the way you you remember it, and it's more likely it it, it will change or it has changed. Unless, of course, it's an old TV series. But uh, yeah, places are different. I'm not upset because I had many memories here, but um, you know, I was just having a challenge myself. And uh, there's one thing that's still here in the woods, which is a big uh, concrete tank. Um, people <laughs> used to chuck their uh, newspapers in there when they do the new their newspaper round. Paper boy, and it's still there. So I wonder if there's any uh, any newspaper in it. Let's have a look.
No, it's filled up with all sorts of crap. But never mind. I remember this part anyway. Oh, there's lots of hills. My my boots are a bit uh, a bit muddy now. Okay, that's soon get out when I walk. Okay, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I was only here for about an hour, and yeah, never mind. Will I come back here again? Of course. Might bring a group of people back here, have a bit of a camping trip or something. Now in the summer, it's a good, quiet place. I didn't like buildings and stuff. But, uh, Okay, so over and out. I'm gonna carry on walking now. Here's my brothers, and then uh, we're gonna head to Somerset about four o'clock. So I've got about an hour and a half to kill and to get there. But it gives a chance for my shoes, my boots to dry also. So I remember where to go and uh, speak to you soon. Bye.